to a meal. Taking computers, we've just figured out that these things are useful and it's an easy way. You know, it's happening now as we have a lot of kind of uh, experimental and proof of concept kinds of stuff showing people printing in chocolate and printing with sugar and printing with, um, you know, printing little pizzas and different things. But um, over time, uh, that'll just improve and eventually we'll cross a kind of a tipping point where it uh, is competitive with other things that you eat. I think, I think that the the sort of automated food production will get small enough to fit inside of your house, so we will have countertop devices. I don't think that it's going to be 3D printing, at least not in its current capacity. There's too many things that are required in order to get food to have the right texture. What we really wanted to do was we know that our fans are so fanatic about our flavors, we wanted to explore giving them a customized experience to actually taste different flavors that are unique uh, to everything in the world. And so what we've created is the world's first cream printer that actually prints Oreos in real time based on what's trending in Twitter. Technology, and now it'll spin and go to the cream.